Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. For today's video, I wanted to do a little craft room tour for you. So without further ado, let's begin. So let's start over here. <laughs> so right here I have three French doors. I have my macrame plan hangers. I don't know if you can see them. So the glass for the doors is um, for some reason picking up frosted on the camera, but that's okay because otherwise you would know where I live. <laughs> And here I have some of my plans. I have about four or five more that goes in here, but I'm currently repotting them. So this is normally a tall majestic palm, but I had cut it short due to some of the leaves dying and stuff. And um, because of that, it became like a dwarf palm, which I like even better. And then I have some dwarf pomegranate here that my mom bought here's some of the buds i really like this one because it brings that orange color that i really like in here and then down here is one of my many pathos i really really like pathos um it haven't it hasn't started um vining over as yet but i'm sure it will pretty soon and then this is my comfy chair So I did come with this really nice cushion. Um, I added this Ikea mat to it. And then this pillow is just from TJ Maxx. The chair is from World Market. The um, end table is from Target. And it just matches perfectly together. So I paired those two together in the corner. I'm going to have another plan hanger coming down from there um, soon, but I just haven't had time yet. I don't know what plant this is. My mom <laughs> bought this here as well. So if you do know what it is, please just let me know. It has these little berries on it, but it's not edible. And this is a futon. So this was actually the first thing that I bought for the space. I really like the color. And, um, after buying this couch, I chose everything else based on that. These two cushion, these two pillows here are temporary. Um, I will be making knitted pillows for this couch. And then I have this picture here of Moo with my last um, yarn wall in our apartment um, with her crazy hair. I am gonna put this up, but I'm going to change the frame to a more natural frame and I think that will um, fit in the space better. And then here is the brick wall that I plan to use as my backdrop for my photos. I'm going to spruce it up a bit. I'm not, I'm not going to paint it white, but I am going to spruce it up and just kind of add some things to it to make it more of a feature wall. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I'm getting the stuff to do that. So these are my bookcases for my last um, for my apartment and these are all these will also be temporary because I do want to do floating shelves in a more natural color But this is what I have now and we haven't had time yet. So I'm going to just stick with this for now So I have my yarn in this I have some scrap fabric some bows that my sister created and books my other camera and yeah This was actually a centerpiece um, that was in the living room, but I said I didn't like it in there anymore. And plus the kids, um, you know, it was getting crazy around it and I didn't want it to break. So I decided to just use it as my yarn ball and it works um, perfect in here because it's teal. So most of these, like these you've seen before my other tour. And then I have these, which will be in my shop soon. So these are 100% merino wool. And those will be in the shop. 
those are some knitwear that um, was for last season that I need to add to the shop. And these are just kind of the printer area, more yarn envelopes, packing stuff. This corner I have my ring light. And this I actually need to remove and put somewhere else because it really doesn't go in here. Here is Diva. <laughs> my maiden form and then over here i have um a bookcase this is from ikea got this from marketplace turned out to be 15 dollars and it was in really good condition i just kind of put junk in here basically i really need to take some time to sit down and organize it but i haven't and then i have this vintage typewriter from my husband's grandma and I actually found ink on Amazon for it. So I I was typing letters um, to family members on this, which is really cool. And then I just have a cake stand with a candle and a clay pot that my husband did in high school, as well as just a tray that I use for mugs. And of course this beauty. <laughs> and then back here I have a feature wall so right now it's just mixed up colors, but the plan is to just dye yarn in um, my color scheme. So more of this burnt orange teal um, color, and then I'll have just those there. But for right now, these are some of my favorite hand dyed yarns. This one I did, and that one over here I did myself. So if you come over here, you see my little board. I normally have stuff written on it, like plans and things like that. But because of uh, my husband working from home, he's been using that to help teach the kids. So it's now blank. And this is another Facebook Marketplace find. This desk was about $30. And um, then I added these knobs from TJ Maxx down here. It's just a mess. I'm not even going to show you that. Um, this chair is also another Marketplace find. And I think I'm going to sand it down to make it a lighter um, tone just like the chair over there and then I had this organizer I don't remember what it's supposed to be for it's definitely not for pens and stuff but I decided to just add a cardboard down in the middle see right there and it separates it so it's a little it looks messy right now because my husband has been taking stuff out of it he doesn't really put it back that neatly but it's normally like really really organized so this is another um, <laughs> draw set from Ikea, but I bought it from Facebook Marketplace. It was only 30 bucks, I think. And the best thing about getting Ikea furniture from Facebook Marketplace or wherever is because um, the best thing is that it's already assembled for you. So you just have to pick it up and you don't have to go through that tedious Ikea um, assembly process. And this is just my normal bin. I used to use this for my scrap yarn, but now it's just for like, just things I need to work on and put away. Um, up top here, I have some yarn that I want to use for projects now. I have my head mold there that I used to use for craft fairs. And yeah, so. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I feel like right here is kind of complete. I still have to figure out what light fixture I want to put in here. If you guys have suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. So well, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was kind of, um, it's kind of a short tour. I did want to like go into the drawers for you and stuff like that, but um, it's really crazy in the house right now with the two kids and I need to go relieve my husband. So that's pretty much it you guys look at the baby toys out there so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching um like i said it's still currently in progress but i feel so so blessed that i'm able to just have my room to myself and um, just enjoy my craft uh if you guys want me to do a video for a deep dive into anything my books collection 
my business um, supplies, anything in the drawers, just kind of let me know in the comment section down below and I could do that for you. But um, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.